Okay, let's have a look at a few more examples of differentiating uh, sine, cos, and tan functions. So we have all the rules over here that we're going to use. So this first question, we have, if f of x is equal to sine 4x, find f dash x. So, okay, we start off with f of x, f of x is equal to sine 4x. Now, that looks like we can just use this rule over here, but we can't because this rule says if we if we differentiate sine of something, sine of one thing, we get cos x. Here we haven't got sine of one thing, we got sine of four times x. So we can't just use this rule here. So we're gonna have to use the chain rule. We have two functions. The first function is the sine function and the second function is four x. So we write it down like this. So we write say g of x is four x and then let's say h of x is equal to sine of g of x. So now if you look at what we have, here I can, I can differentiate g of x, differentiate 4x and I just get 4, so g dash x is equal to 4. Here I can differentiate h of x and I guess, well when I differentiate h of x, I'm differentiating sine of one thing. A function is just one thing, so I'm differentiating sine g of x. So I know it doesn't look exactly, it doesn't look like it's exactly the same as sine x, but it actually is. Sine x is sine of one thing, and this is sine of one thing. g of x is a function, it's just one thing. So differentiate sine g of x, and I get cos g of x. So I get cos g of x. And now I can just replace, well, g of x is actually 4x, so I get cos 4x. And by the chain rule, we know that f dash x, f dash x will equal g dash x, we've had this before, times h dash x. If you're not sure, if you go back to the video on the chain rule, so here f dash x will equal 4 multiplied by h dash, dash x, which is cos 4x. So it's 4 multiplied by cos 4x. And that's it. You can't simplify that any further. One mistake that people make, they try and multiply this 4 by the 4x. You can't. Just leave it as it is. It's 4 cos 4x. Okay, let's look at another example. It's very similar. We've got if f of x is equal to cos x squared, we have to find f dash x. So we start off f of x is equal to cos x squared. Again, it looks it looks mostly like this rule. We're differentiating cos x and we get minus sine x. But the only difference is we haven't just got cos of x, we've got cos of x squared. So we've got, we've got to use the chain rule. So we've got a function inside a function. So our first function, let's call g of x, is the x squared bit. And our second function, let's call h of x, is the cos of that. So it's cos of g of x. So I can differentiate each bit, differentiate x squared g dash x is 2x, h dash x, differentiate cos of that, and I get minus sine g of x. So differentiate cos, and we get differentiate cos, you see here, and we get minus sine. So then we can replace g of x is, is x squared, so that's really minus sine x squared. So then f dash x is equal to, again, g dash x, by the chain rule times h dash x. So f dash x, f of x differentiated is equal to 2x multiplied by, so it's multiplied by, so be careful here of this minus sign. So multiplied by minus sine x squared. I can simplify that. I can, I can multiply out the brackets here. I get minus 2x sine x squared.